Let us look at an example of software related to bank which is responsible for debiting amount from an account. In the table C indicates condition, A indicates action, Y denotes true, N denotes false, X denotes actions to be taken, and blank value in cell indicate that the condition will not have any effect on action to be taken. Blank in actions indicated that no action is required. Now let us look at decision table with conditions C1, C2, C3 and actions A1, A2, A3 represented by rows in the table. It has five permutations represented by columns 1 through 5. Analyzing the decision table provides us the information that action 1 should be taken when all conditions C1, C2 and C3 are true. Action 2 should be performed when both C1 and C2 are true and C3 is false. Action A3 is performed when C1 is true and C2 is false. In this case, C3 will not have any effect on the action to be taken, be it true, false or blank. This information helps us to define test cases which satisfy these conditions. We will also design test cases to check if actions which should not happen are happening in the system. These test cases are called negative test cases.